Right, okay, so to uh, some, um, some simple measurements here, and this is actually the simplest of uh, our mitigating um, solutions, which has been uh, banded around and uh, suggested quite a lot, which is simply an open window. Um, so that's open, it's not blowing a gale today. As in the other test, Susie, my wife, she's volunteered to use a vape which produces clouds of visible and measurable smoke. So on to the measurements, let's get Susie in. So Susie, come on in and we'll just have a quick look at what the numbers are at the moment. Very low, extremely low. Um, seven on the PM 2.5, on the PM 10 it's eight, and PM 1 it's uh, two, three. And of course, we're actually getting some formaldehyde and some uh, organic uh, compounds, probably uh, you know, from uh, previous tests, we've been doing a few of these in line, but overall the air quality now is excellent. Okay, so off we go. For, um, right, windows open now yeah, just to check. I'll um, start the time when you finish. Okay, off you go. And of course, the uh, readings here rise very quickly with the clouds of smoke. Um, I want to really sort of show that this is a really a sort of a very over the top test in terms of aerosol. Um, but I'll be doing that by seeing what aerosol is actually generated by some dental instruments, the ones that we have, of course. Off the scale already, and <coughs> making me cough, I actually could do with my PPE on at this stage. <coughs> is that five? Mm -hmm. Right, okay, cool. So, we will, oh, that's uh, end of AGP, let's start the timer. And then uh, we will see what uh, an open window does. Um, of course, I'll put a couple of these, uh, some of the practical ones, into combination so that uh, people can actually see whether it's actually worth investing in one particular item over another. Um, let's hope that an open window actually does, uh, does as good a job as, uh, as my air research system. because uh, you know there's going to be aerosol hanging in the air and of course that's what the fallow time is for to allow that to settle. The green indicator there means um, good or excellent air quality I believe. Just uh, check that quickly. Yeah it's saying air quality indicator excellent down here. I suppose I'm being a little bit harsh with these tests, but at the end of the day, I want this to be something which actually gives a good guide or a good indicator. Um, again, I mean, I'll put my uh, my little disclaimer in there that I don't want to encourage or discourage the use of certain bits of equipment, and certainly we should stick to recommended guidelines. Um, but so uh, you know, obviously, this is going to help me with my risk assessment here uh, to show that I'm keeping both patients and staff. Uh, say so banging myself, of course, that's, uh, I really want that too. So uh, with the open window, that's just a fraction over seven minutes to get down to that 10 parts per million of the uh, particle size. Okay, well that was a very interesting result, guys. So, um, you know, obviously on to maybe the next one. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting my next bits of kit set up uh, and then doing a few in combination. Uh, though so far I feel that uh, for, for me personally, um, I can sort of say that the surgery is um, going to be fit for use, maybe a little quicker.
I'll be sticking to uh, protocols myself for uh, a, a good little while. Um, I'll just see what uh, what the general consensus is in relation to this so we've got a little bit of a peer group. Next time, all being well, I'll be uh, maybe measuring an air purifier. Obviously, you heard some reports that you know having a filtration unit just at one point in the room you know, isn't going to get rid of all the dead zones, but that, that might be the next one that I do and then a few in combination. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, uh, see you soon.